Hi and welcome to the last part of the getting started with Vue.js course. In this part we are going to go over how we can turn the add interest form into a component where we will pass the interest back to its parent component. The code we are going to use is just the same as in the last part. I just made some few changes here to make it look a little bit better. In this part we are going to turn this code here into a component. So we can go down under the other components and say view.component and say add interest. We don't need any props into this so we can just create a template. Just copy the code from here. And save. And here we can add the add interest component. So if we save that and refresh in the browser, you will see that we still see the form. But this will not work because nothing happens when we click the button now. So what we want to do now is to add the directive here that says at change and what we want to call when we get the change from that component. We want to call the add interest. Inside this component we want to add one more property here called methods and we can copy the add interest there and turn it into function. When we click add interest, we want to send information back to its parent. So here we say this dot emit change and we want to send the information from this field. So we say this dot interest. But we have not added the data array yet, so we have to do that too. Data. As you can see here, I've made data into, an, into a function which returns data. That's because we want the data inside of a component to be just inside that component. So the last thing we have to do now is to add a parameter here called interest and remove this. We can also take away that one. And instead add the reset in here, this dot interest equals null. So if you save now and refresh, I forgot to add a comma here, so if you save now and refresh and go here and type one interest, CSS again, add, you will see that it's updated here and it's added here. So it's come from this component, passed using an emit signal where we call the add interest and push that interest to the array. And that's it for this part and this course. I hope you enjoyed learning about Vue and that you have learned enough so that you can start to implement Vue in your own projects. If you want to learn more about Vue, we have new lessons every week at viewhero.com.